Aerosmith announced Farewell Tour, the legendary rock band, formed in 1970, will visit 40 stops in North America as part of their Peace Out Tour. Elder Statesman of Rock Aerosmith will launch one final tour this fall, the band announced on Monday. The Peace Out Tour will begin on 2nd September in Philadelphia and make 40 stops across North America, including Los Angeles, New York, Toronto, Chicago, and a hometown show in Boston on New Year's Eve. The Farewell Tour will wrap on 26 January in Montreal. The band, formed in 1970, said in a statement, Get ready and walk this way. You're going to get the best show of our lives. The Farewell Tour will include original frontman Steven Tyler, lead guitarist Joe Perry, guitarist Brad Whitford, and bassist Tom Hamilton. The group's founding drummer, Joey Kramer, will not be in attendance. While Joey Kramer remains a beloved founding member of Aerosmith, he has regrettably made the decision to sit out the currently scheduled touring dates to focus his full attention on his family and health, the band said in a statement. Joey's unmistakable and legendary presence behind the drum kit will be surely missed. The tour announcement comes a few months after a woman sued Tyler for abuse when she was a teenager in the 1970s. Julia Misley, who had spoken out publicly for years about Tyler's treatment of her as a teenager, filed a lawsuit in Los Angeles thanks to a rule temporarily lifting the statute of limitations on abuse suffered as children. Tyler has denied all allegations. Missley has since become an anti-abortion advocate in the U.S., citing her experience with Tyler in the context of anti-abortion campaigns, including an interview with Tucker Carlson on Fox News. Aerosmith, inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2001, has sold more than 150 million albums during their over 50-year career, won four Grammys, conducted 10 world tours, and notched many top 10 pop hits, including I Don't Want to Miss a Thing, Walk This Way, Dream On, Jaded, and What It Takes. The band recently wrapped their Las Vegas residency, Aerosmith, Deuces Are Wild, at Dolby Live at Park MGM, though a portion of the residency was canceled when Tyler voluntarily entered a rehabilitation program. The Black Crows will open for Aerosmith throughout the tour.